This morning, school districts and government organizations across East Tennessee taking the day off due to severe weather. All Friday night football games are also postponed. This is a live look at our website. You can see quite a laundry list of closures right now. Pretty significant. We've got that scrolling at the bottom of your screen as well, and you can always find it inside your WVLT News app. And in Knox County, leaders are taking precautions ahead of time. They did so to make sure everything runs as smooth as possible this morning. We've already seen more than the usual wrecks due in part to the road conditions so far this week. Remember, you want to be careful if you have to be out on the roads this morning. The city's been working on different projects so they can act quickly when there is a problem. They have extra crews available to respond to down trees and power lines this morning. We're keeping a close eye on any power outages across the county and all of East Tennessee. Right now, outages are minimal in our area. In the meantime, the best way to stay safe during these storms is simply to stay inside, stay home. And this morning, East Tennessee bracing for more rain. It's our third first alert weather day. Now behind us is a live look out in Sevier County this morning. We've got a crew mm. there. You can just see the high river levels. That rain really coming down. We want to drive home. If you come across a flooded roadway on your commute, turn around. Two to three inches of rain already from anywhere from one to two more heading their way. All that rain causing issues around the mountains, closing roads, even causing one driver to need a rescue yesterday. County officials remind everyone check your phone before you hit the road this morning. See those road conditions for yourself. And remember, if you do see that water could be deeper than you think. And we're getting a look at some of the damage to the south of us where Helene has already been. It made landfall last night in northwestern Florida as a category four hurricane. Now a tropical storm as it churns over Georgia. So far, at least three people have died as a result of the storm. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis says one person was killed when a sign fell on their car on a Tampa highway. Millions are expected to lose electricity. The storm so immense it's already toppled trees in Atlanta. Heavy rains opened up a sinkhole north of the city. There are declared emergencies in Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Virginia and the Carolinas. And in the National Park, officials have closed Rich Mountain Road on the Tennessee side. Several other roads closed on the North Carolina side. The park says more roads probably will close with all events scheduled for this weekend now canceled in the park. They're also discouraging anyone from going into the backcountry right now. And during this dangerous weather, you want to make sure you have the WVLT First Alert weather app. You'll get those videos live radar sent right to your phone. Make sure you and your family stay safe today. Meanwhile, a team of Tennesseans are already on the scene in Florida, showing why we're called the volunteer state. Tima deployed the Swift Water Rescue Team to Pensacola on Tuesday ahead of Helene. The team is made up of 17 people from Nashville Fire, Franklin Fire, and from the Williamson County Emergency Management Agency. They're going to be helping with search and recovery efforts on the ground in Florida. And speaking of the volunteer spirit, more than 700 soldiers from the state's National Guard are getting ready to head to the Middle East. The 278th Armored Cavalry is headquartered in Knoxville. They'll start their journey in Texas before headed to Kuwait for a year-long mission. Officials say the group will help strengthen security in the Middle East and maintain a strong military posture in the region. They leave Saturday with departure ceremonies happening across the state. And an update in a court case involving an East Tennessee representative. A judge dismissed a defamation lawsuit against Representative Tim Burchett. It stemmed from posts Burchett made on social media about the deadly shooting at the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl parade in February. The lawsuit was filed by Denton Loudermill. In it, he alleged Burchett shared photos of him on X formerly known as Twitter, falsely claiming he was one of the shooters and calling him, quote, an illegal alien. He also claimed that he got death threats and suffered mental distress from the posts. The judge argued Burchett did not know Louder Mill and the posts were not intended to cause harm to the state of Kansas. And despite the rainy end of the week, the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk is tomorrow at Zoo Knoxville. It benefits the American Cancer Society. Steps off at 8 a.m. sharp. Our own Casey Wheelis is emceeing alongside Kim Hansard at Star 102. Point one. We've got details on how to sign up right now. You want to be extremely careful if you have to be out on the roads. You want to get a check of the first alert traffic with Olivia Kelsey. Yeah, Harry and Whitney have been giving great advice this morning on ways that you all can be careful out on the roads. And that's what we need to do because I am following a crash this morning on I-40 East. As you can see, some of those slowdowns there, that crash is blocking those two left lanes. That left shoulder is blocked. So two of the four lanes on I-40 East this morning are blocked due to that. Um, but it's at that paper mill exit. So if you're headed in that direction, take note of that. Here's a live look. You can see there are first responders out on 
on the scene. I'm not real sure the details of the crash, but it is causing major backups, major slowdowns out on the road. So of course, just use caution this morning. The roads are wet. There's that possibility of hydroplaning. We need to be careful. Five minutes before the top of the hour here. Here's how much rainfall we've had since midnight. Now this is midnight, almost to the third as we get into Knoxville, other areas almost a quarter, but look at Rockwood approaching that inch. So many of us have seen rainfall over the nighttime hours. More is on the way. You see we've got some over western North Carolina, still some pockets of moderate rain that rotates through from time to time. Here's a closer inspection for Knox County right now. It's a light rain over the halls over the Strawberry Plains down into the interior sections of the uh, central downtown district. It's light right now, but heavier as you get over closer to Hardin Valley. Right now we're at 70 with north northeast winds running at about 18 miles per hour. We expect those to pick up as we go into the afternoon and a 50 mile per hour gust in Knoxville is not out of the question going through that two o'clock hour. That's when we expect the center of Helene to be the closest to our area. So you see here many of us picking up some gusty winds at times as we move through the uh, latter part of the day. So it's a first alert weather day for a reason. The heavy rainfall, gusty winds could lead to more problems in some neighborhoods. Then we get into the uh, weekend where we're looking at a little drier pattern, but still nonetheless clouds are going to be with us. And of course, on and off scattered rain and storms before really drying it out next week. All right, Kyle, thank you very much. Stay safe today. We'll continue to follow the latest on Helene. Now a tropical storm churning over Georgia headed our way. We'll see you on the CW.